Yo, what up, people? It's V Does Tech back in the building, and today we got some competition for the Re i4 wireless keyboard and the Wii Chip Air Mouse. This is the Pony Bro Mini wireless keyboard. Now, this is going on Amazon right now for $17, and that's why I brought it in here because this is currently going for $27. And this is going for 20 And so, with this bad boy right here, it claims that it can do everything that those two can do, plus more. So we got to put that to the test. Let's dive in here. Let's see, let's see, let's see what we get. Alright, so look. There goes your instructions. Boom. You get a charging cable micro USB and you get the keyboard pull that out sticky plastic and there it is the pony bro wireless keyboard doesn't look bad not gonna lie compared to the other ones it, it feels kind of cheap but here goes the on off switch in the back let's turn that on okay that does not look bad at all I can tell you one thing already off top I don't like how it feels like the directional pad and the media control keys should be swapped it's, it's yeah, that that doesn't feel right. It feels yeah, it definitely feels like it should be over here, but there goes your power, your home, your back, your left click mouse, your uh volume, your shortcut to your internet browser, and I'm guessing that's the menu button and your right click. There goes your volume up, your volume down, rewind, fast forward. And one thing I do like about this keyboard is that it has backlit keys which is that's, that's a cool purple not bad so let's go ahead and in the back you have your battery so if it warps or whatever it's removable you can find one of these on Amazon not sure what they're going for but probably shouldn't be too much but for like I said for $17 you can just buy another one of these if it comes down to it depending on how cheap the batteries are and here is your dongle it's a little one not that big let's go ahead and throw the cover back on flip it over and so it's supposed to be plug and play I don't believe that this one has Bluetooth I might have to double check that but I don't think it does have Bluetooth I think it's dongle only and so here is the the instructions once again but no there it does say there goes Bluetooth on Android TV boxes TV projectors so it's supposed to come up as a T2 mini keyboard so gonna definitely have to test that out there goes some more instructions there goes the backlit function oh so okay so let's see so according to this you are supposed to let's tap any key to wake it up let's hit the backlight RGB oh and then you use the touch panel and it looks like you're supposed to be able to change it to whatever color you like I might have to go with this this blue but that's it with the lights on we may have let's go ahead and dim the lights real quick so we can see how bright it really gets so oh yeah all right Let's see how bright this bad boy can get so yeah you can definitely see that in the dark that's not gonna be a big deal in any way 
and so once again it was function RGB so there's that color there's the neon green flower that one doesn't look too bad I could rock with that I was hoping there was more colors but I might have to rock out with that Oop, did I mess it up so how do yeah I think I might it is well I don't think I've seen that yellow before right don't think we have it is a little frustrating trying to get to the that one doesn't look too bad but yeah I think I'll definitely go with the oops yeah I think I'll definitely so hit that hit that yeah I think I'm gonna rock out with that color and it says to save you just hit your function in your backlight key at the same time and that's supposed to save your color option so hit it again and yeah that's cool so it gets plenty bright you'll definitely be able to see it in the dark so let's get the lights back on so yeah I will say that it's definitely gonna take some getting used to I feel like these two should have been swapped I'm gonna mess around and have to use it like this be confused be super confused at what you're trying to hit the buttons are are nice and clicky I do like that it doesn't feel like the keys are too close together feels responsive I'll hook it up play with it for a week maybe two and then do it and then do a two three week review on the pony bro wireless keyboard but it, I will say I'm, I'm already missing the scrolling the scrolling pad on the Rei 4 but not gonna try to make turn it into a comparison video gotta use it as its own standalone device but yeah I'll use this for a little bit and I'll get back to y'all. I'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.